Hello everybody and welcome back to Willow Wire. Today we are playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I gotta switch my weapon I just noticed because it's way too powerful for this area. Let's put the Knight's Broadsword there. There we go. Alright, so what I did last time was I said I was going to go over to the thingy there or somewhere down there anyway. And I changed my mind because I was like, you know, I'm going to climb to the top of this. I am at the very tip top spot that you can get. There's something over there. What is that? Oh, slap. But I'm at the tip top spot that you can get from here. And I saw this thingy. I figured something had to be up here, so I climbed all the way up. <clears throat> Instead of making you guys sit through it all. You found me! Woo! Coroxy! I don't really need any more, but I don't care. I'm a, perf I'm a perfectionist. Okay, so... Oh! I am falling! Ouch. There's nothing that I can tell down in here. If there is, then I'm oblivious. I haven't seen anything in my entire climb up. It was just a bunch of nothingness. So, what we're doing, there's a thing over there, huh, apparently they turned the bones into their own little hideout, uh, we need to go to, I think it's that, or is it that, I don't know, where's the gate, where's the gate to this place, okay, that's the gate, it might be that over there, oh, it's that, so we're gonna fly, Aha! I was pressing the wrong button at first because, you know, Xbox. <laughs> so theoretically, I shouldn't have to do anything because I've already caught what I needed. I'm assuming I go in. Why am I hurting? Like, seriously, the temperature's fine. Ooh, chest. Ooh, a golden bow with quick shot. Oh. Hang on, I can fix this. Whee! <laughs> Technically that's a 28, but honestly, I don't need that many. And this is better anyway. Okay, so first let's go ahead and drop the golden bow. Oh, it didn't fall where I wanted it to. And then we're gonna go camera. And we've already got the golden bow. Okay. Ooh. I'm shocked. Despite what she, uh, Chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. But the Chief must have her reasons for believing you could fight the Divine Beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hurry up. Okay, but I'm changing my clothes because I shouldn't need these clothes here. Um, we're going to put on my mountain climbing gear, and we're going to put on my hat, and we're going to put on my flame pants. Yeah, I look much better now. <clears throat> okay, how do I get up there? Probably a ladder. Yes, there is, but I want to climb. Because I'm extra. <laughs> Plus, for some reason, it's faster. Wait. Where is she? Um, am I missing something? Oh. Oh. Well. I guess there's no point in me climbing after all. Well, then... That's what you really look like, huh? Heh. <laughs> With Vo banned from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. Divine Beast Van de Boris. It's it is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. I don't have any. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you could stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. 
Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Oh, that's plenty. This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? <clears throat> Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? My name is Rizu, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Vondaboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call, aid me in this task. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. So I just had a thought. So they call upon their ancestors, right? And you'd think by now they're going to get But every one of these characters is reincarnated from ones prior to this. Which means that the only ancestors that would not be there would be the ones that haven't yet been reincarnated. So, isn't that like just one or two? I'm not really sure how many ancestors they'd really have. They might be a bigger line than what I'm thinking, but everybody always looks the same for the most part. No, oh, Celia is so happy. Okay, Celia, let's go. <clears throat> Lady Yerbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. I'm just getting better from being sick, so I wasn't able to record for a little while. I had no voice. Well, I did, but it wasn't very pleasant. It was hard to talk. So, and yeah, I know, I got sick again, but, uh, oh, this is more complicated than I thought it would be. Where are you going, lady? I can't follow you like this. Uh, so I've kind of, like, gotten to that point of controls are confusing again. Where is it? Are we, like, you are leading the way, right? Okay, there it is. So my voice might cut out a little bit here and there. There's a shrine nearby. Whoa! Hey! Hey! You pulled me out of the thing! Where'd you go? Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Are you giving up? No, I'm not giving up! Okay. Slow down! Why can't I... Come on! Going no! I want in! Closing. Okay. I can't control this damn thing. She goes out all crazy like that, and then it's like, how do I get back? <laughs> I can't see it. Like, I'm pretty sure she's leading me to it, but I can't see it well enough to actually... I don't want to dash, because dashing makes me go all crazy. This is a bad one. Shooting is not going to be easy. Oh, I have the wrong arrows! Like I stepped on. Missed. Closer. I can't get that from here. Okay, so what I'm probably gonna do. Oh, she's getting a little bit far. Woo! Can't 
see. Oh, what happened? Oh, crap. Oh! Okay. So I was not expecting the shield that you use there to go and actually repel my bombs. I'm not. I'm like right behind you. I'll wait for him to shoot again and then go. Yeah, I would aim for the feet if I could. But I gotta get up there. Would have had that too. Like right off the bat. It was easier than I thought it was gonna be, but <clears throat> I had to get used to the way it was done. Is there like a door in the feet or something? Oh. Oh, well, that's, that's one way to do it. I basically just stopped Naboris right then and there. <laughs> I don't even need to go inside. I already defeated it. Temporary ring down. Don't let it sound. <clears throat> well, this is my last guardian, at least. Okay, well, firstly, that is a no-no square that apparently I can't destroy. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> There's a drop there. Jeez, I didn't realize there were so many drops. You can fall from like everywhere. Okay, let's try this again. Apparently it's gonna be a close fight no matter what. thingies on the top. Nope, there is not. I wonder why this is here then. Normally, I don't remember seeing anything like that except for in the areas that had those, but whatever, I don't care. Something is after me. Oh, there it is. There, I popped his bubble. This looks electrified and I'm not going to touch it. Oh god, I'm going to have to mess around with electricity, aren't I? If 
it's up there. I mean, I might be able to glide from here, but... I think it's not safe. Or is it up there? No, it's not there. So that's over there. Hmm. Wait, I hear one. Not what I thought it was. It's worse than what I thought. Can't yeah, see. Thank you. Okay, now what's my weakest one? Oh, uh, that's a 30, and it's strong too. Oh, obviously you got a fan. Um, okay, yeah, it's actually this one still. However, this... How is all this stuff here without having all those things? Okay, not a big deal. Killed off another one of the thingies, that's all I care about. So let's go ahead and fly, I guess. Don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it, but I did it. <clears throat> trying to stay in my camera frame, but it ain't working out for some reason. I'm hoping you guys can hear when they talk on there, right? I was a bit quiet. Oh my. He's got a big barrel of a tummy. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabortus are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortus back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to fly to get that one. Uh, okay. Might be able to get to this one. Or not. Nope. Okay, so there's a terminal above me, a terminal in front of me. Um, probably have to get up there to fly down to that one. That can be destroyed, quite clearly. So that one's gone now. Let's destroy this. Okay, I don't have a lot of these bomb arrows, but... Probably could have actually... Yeah! Oh well, I wasted some bomb arrows. Probably could have just used a bomb. That looks like something. Let's go check that out. Ooh, it's a chest. My chest. Oh, let me get that chest. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see. You know, I've gone through this whole game and I've never even crafted the really powerful armor or gotten powerful weapons. I kind of forgot they even existed, to be honest. So I guess they weren't really all that important, but it probably would have made this game a little bit easier. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five terminals to do. I don't know what the controls are as of yet, but I'm also not entirely worried about that at the present moment. I want to kind of see what I can do without the controls first, and then move on from there. So let's... Is this... Oh, oh pff, there's a door right there. I just had to walk two more feet. Thought I was going to have to look around and be clever. Oh, got some bomb arrows back, so that's nice. Alright, well, there's nothing else in here. I'm hoping I don't fall. Any reason to climb anywhere? I can't tell that either. Okay, I believe. Yep, there it is. Can I climb this? Hmm. No. Hmm. Alright, let's check out what I can do. Rotate, huh? 
I'm not sure if I should be on the outside while I'm doing this. Let's try this. Maybe. I don't know. What did I do? Oh, I can rotate his belly. Rotate him once more. <clears throat> oh. Wait. Huh. Okay, so. Oh. That's how that works. Oh no. I was standing on it. I thought I was outside. Uh. Okay, well, we'll do that again. Get it to where we need it. I don't want to fall out, so I'm gonna. Just so I need one more. Oops. No, that did not work. That didn't work either. Where did I just put that thing? What just happened? How do I get that? Should be right here. Oh, there's one on both sides. That's why I'm getting confused. Okay, so next I would need to get up onto this. Oh, that looks unsafe. Oh, that's where I came in. Okay, so this would be the next one that I need to roll. Which would be... This one. <coughs> we yep. Well, I don't really need that, but let's see what I got. Uh, no. I want this. Okay. Uh, knight's bow. That's a knight's bow. Twenty-eight. And fires too, so we'll get rid of. Hmm. That's only a 14 with a quick shot. This one fires two. I'll just get rid of that one. I don't really like the dual shooting ones. They might be useful and all that, but I just I don't really care for them. Okay, so I got that. Now this needs to rotate twice. So let's go over here and hope that I'm far enough over. Go to the middle and rotate it twice. Theoretically, that should be enough. But it's going over there. I don't know if I can fly that far. But I can probably get to this. Nope. Okay. Oh wait, before I do that, let's get into a position that I can actually Brought up. And engine shaft. Alright, well, point is we got that out of the way. So there's two chests out of the way. Now we need to get up there. How would I do so? 
if I lock myself right there, I should be able to make this work. Whoop. Oh. Fudge. Honestly, kind of surprised that I got that right. To be perfectly honest. However, it would appear that I was not in the right place at the right time. Um, so I might need to move this back. Maybe. Okay, so let's. Whoops. Let's try moving this one once. Let's go and do this. And now we're gonna... bring that back. <clears throat> Which should put me in the right spot now. It's too bad I can't be on these things at other points, because it's kind of fun to ride around them and just watch the whole world around me. <sighs> Imagine riding one of these in real life, that would be fun. Well, that didn't work, that did it. What? do it, but I got him. <laughs> Any more of these things? This looks anti-powered. Alright, so there's clearly another one of those metal thingies here. Where do you go? I don't think. Oh. I mean, honestly, I could probably walk across this. It's probably not a good idea, though. At least not to start with that. So let's go ahead and do this. Any other way up there yet? There was something there, but I'm already going down, so. Oh, that one. There. 
He's dead. What's over here? Okay, that's where I started. How would I unlock this? Gate Guardian there. I can't see very much through here, but it does actually look as though if I did fall, I'd fall into there. Okay, so we'll wait for this thingy. We'll head back up. There's a little platform right there. I wonder if those platforms have anything to do with anything. over there. But what is this? What would this be for? Oh! Well, that's not what I intended to do. But that's okay. I'll get the chest first, and then we'll go over there on the next one. <clears throat> oh, fudge. Okay, and now this is a ancient screw. Just got that in time. Aha! Is it gonna come back or is it? explodes things. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Okay. he was summoning things from. That looks like I would need that ball. I don't know if this will work the way that I'm expecting it to. Hey, I see it. It was right there that whole dang time. Okay, hang on. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Sorry. All right, sorry, so I had to... Still a little sick, so I have to take a drink. <coughs> so let's go this way. What the? Oh, it goes up now. I got two of these now. Hmm. There's not up here, but that doesn't mean I won't need them for something. There, alright, and it's 
basically, I just wanted to see if this would do anything. Oh, it does. Is it going to stay that way? I don't know if it stays or not, which makes me nervous. Hello there! Ow. There's two! Ouch! How dare you! I did not realize there was two. Hey, where'd the weapons go? The weapons disappeared, what the heck? Huh. That's odd. Alright. Well, either I need to touch that with one, or I need to... Ah, that's why there's two. Well then, it's a good thing that I know where the other one is. Alright, well there's a the second one. That was pretty easy to get those two. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. Now if I can just get my throat to cooperate with me for the rest of this, we're doing pretty good. Alright, so I activated that thingy again with the little ball so that it would move back and forth so I can get over to that chest. I mean honestly I could have probably just walked on this thing. But I felt this was safer. There's gotta be... I don't see an eyeball. <clears throat> I see a way I can climb from right there though, so I guess I didn't actually need to worry about that to begin with. Huh. Okay, well I guess I could have just climbed this the whole time. I saw this before, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. So what does this do? Oh. No, seriously, what does that do? <laughs> so, twisting that activates that. So I'll grab this one. And we will take it with us to use as an extra power supply if we end up needing one. So that's constantly spinning now. Find a way to get over there. And now I'm here. That's interesting. So what if I put that right here? Does that do anything? Oh, no, no. Uh, I don't know the reasoning for it. But I want to make sure I don't lose it. Oh, there's one right there. <clears throat> Maybe I sh um, Maybe I should keep this here. Like this. Because I'm pretty sure I can't make it to that. If I can't make it to that, <clears throat> I'm going to need to get another way up. Hopefully, without turning this. Actually, I take that back. I will put this right here. And then I'm going to twist it that way. So I'll walk this way. One more time to do it. Because now, this lines with this. <coughs> I was just being silly. There are two terminals remaining. Stay focused. 
This is probably the easiest one I've done so far. Now I just gotta go and twist the center again. I think I'm going to start by hitting the center. Oh. Well, this is fun. Gotta love light beams of death. You know, those are always fun. Okay, okay, no, we gotta stop this thing. Okay, uh, turn you. There we go. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Alright, so there is one ahead of me, like directly ahead of me, so I'm assuming something about this, something needs to be hit, I think. Where is that coming from? It's coming from those. <clears throat> I don't see a way that those would hit anything. Okay, so it must be in that. I don't see any way of opening it. So let's, let's move this one around. Okay, so there it is right there. So over here, or on the other side, it's hard to say at the present moment, either on this side or on the other side has to have a hole. There is a hole there, but that one is blocked. And that means, yep, it's right there. <clears throat> so we need to get into here. Bye! Oh, I haven't been out here before. I thought this is where I started. Whole reason I hadn't gone this way. Okay, that was easy enough. Those kind of sound like there's one of those things, but I don't see it. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Alright, now we need to get out of here, so we'll do... <clears throat> okay, so the last one should be fairly easy, I think. One of those I'm gonna have to get back to the top probably. Now just in case, I'm gonna take this with me. Okay, that did not in any way go the way I thought it was going to. Ooh, I don't understand why that rolled outward. Ever, I guess. Now, how am I going to get over there, I wonder? Alright, so I went to the top and I decided I'll explore from here. So let's see what we can do here. There's the spot. Oh, and I did the right thing. I brought the thingy with me. To be honest, I wasn't entirely sure I would need it. Oh, maybe I don't. Let's crank. I mean, there is this thingy right here. Don't know what it does, though. Technically, I could just put it right next to it and it would work. But then there's this one here. So I probably have to crank this thing to bring them both up for whatever reason. So let's try that. What did it do? Okay, so that cranks that. Okay, so now what about this? It's weird how that works. There we go. It's an elevator. That was actually a pretty simple puzzle. 
Do I have any idea how I was originally supposed to do it? Whether I was supposed to try and jump through there in some specific way, or if I was supposed to go the way I just did, but... It worked, so, whatever. That was really easy. Wow, this is literally the easiest one I've had so far. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control room. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing moth you see there. You're doing well. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Yeah, no, I have no confidence. I got half health and not a lot of bomb arrows. And the last time I faced one of these dudes, I didn't do so well. It took me forever. <clears throat> didn't die, but it took me forever to figure out how to actually hurt him. I've been doing this for just over an hour, and that includes coughing time. Guess who's not going to forget to take a picture? Ooh, lovely. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Gandalf and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow him to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. Hang on, I gotta take a picture of it. It's back. Watch yourself. Oh. Well, I got it. <laughs> it's gonna hurt, but I got it. Oh, I fell. Oh! Owie. 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 What just happened? Ah! What? I'm out of shield. Oh, I'm out of shield. Okay, I need to switch my weapon. Okay, let's get strongest bow. I think is that. Bomb arrows. We'll get. We need a weapon that is one-handed. Oh, because of the thing. Yeah. Master Sword is perfect for him because of what it is. Oh, my shield! Oh, I was not prepared for that. Why is it? Oh, because I don't have my sword out. Oh, come on now. Killed him? No. He's angry. Watch that lightning. What lightning? What lightning? Where's, where'd he go? There it is. Run away! Where'd he go? Where is he? I. Don't. Where is 
How do I kill this thing? There he is. Nope, that's not even hurting him. Where is he? There he is. Okay, but how do I... I can't hurt him with my arrows. What if I... Where is... Hmm. Oh! It didn't work. How do I do it? Ah, that's how you do it. <clears throat> Took me a while to figure that out, but... Oh, I tried so hard to guard. Oh, this is gonna hurt. shield, but I killed him. <coughs> well, that's the last of the Divine Beasts. And it wasn't very far over an hour, so with edits it might be under an hour. Of course, there's a scene now. Just what I've always wanted, another heart. Woo! Ooh, my second row. Okay, now where's my shield? <laughs> Sinking out of the camera again. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't let us down, Lin. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and the border is ours once again. Which means that finally we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. 
as well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. <laughs> Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Dramatic. <laughs> Bam. Both you and the princess. I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also. Take good care of Hyrule. Magical Light of Basically a ginormous lightning rod. Naboru, legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor me. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboru? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Garuda. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. She's scary when she's <laughs> mad. And not in the violent kind of scary either, just the demented kind of scary. Just imagine the thoughts those Gerudo must have had when this happened. He just popped in front of them like, Oh my god, where did you come from? That was it. Link. Link. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. And the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Can I go in now? 
Are you serious? I just saved your butts, and you still don't let me in. Oh, you're back. I'm glad you're okay. I truly am. Or truly I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to town. I'm wor uh, still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Yervosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Yervosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Daybreaker? Well, I figures. Okay, so I need to drop a shield. I guess I could have left that shield there after all. Scimitar of the Seven! Okay, well, let's go over here and drop some stuff then. <sighs> Weapons. Well, I used the crap out of this, so I should probably drop this. And then I guess I'll equip this. And then. Uh, we will. I forgot to drop a shield. What? Which one am I using? This one. I'm going to drop this one because that got the crap beat out of it, so it's probably not doing so great. So now, I got three things I gotta do. I gotta grab these, and then go to. If it, it changes my angle here. <clears throat> Pulse, the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunder Helmet. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Yeah. Be calm yourself, Valyria. You desire this helm? I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm -hmm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. If you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. Interesting. We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. Well, that works for me. I didn't even know that was a thing. Apparently, I can't just take a picture of it. Hmm. Well, that got me another mission for the next time, at least. Uh, okay, so next thing we need to drop. And we need to drop. And then we'll take a picture. Uh, some kind of seven. And then a picture of the daybreaker. Okay, next we're going to go to this. Go to the album. Compendium. Okay, so the shields and armor, weapons, all that stuff, I still got more to get. But it is filling in quite nicely. The treasure chest is already done. The food is done. I got all the food. Monsters, well, there is the first two that I failed to take a picture of. Uh, then I forget, failed to take a picture of the Yiga Clan guy, which I'm pretty sure is going to be one. Then there's one other one, which is probably the very last Ganon. And, no, the Yugi Clan guy was right there, so it's probably one right there. And the big dude that I didn't get the picture of, because, you know, I didn't realize it, because I took the picture the first time before I died. So it probably would have been the Yugi Clan big guy, the Yugi Clan boss. That's unfortunate. There's still more of these dude, but I forgot that I needed them. Because I got one, two, and four. So yeah, I probably should have checked on that. But that's okay. There's going to be other things anyway. I got the ice one, got the rock one. There's probably an electric one, I would assume. And I think I know where he would be as well. Then the frost peblet. I know where the lava peblet is, which I, again, died and forgot to go back for it. And I would assume there's a normal peblet as well. It was right there. And then again, there's probably an electric one. Stone. Stone luminous. So, and then rare. Ice, 
There's probably either a fire one or electric one. One more dragon, apparently. So yeah, there's still a good amount in here to get. The creatures, I'm only missing a few. I still gotta get that stupid bloopy again. This is easy. Yeah, I'm not missing too many. Alright, so we're pretty far done in this. So I guess on our next one, we'll come around town and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed this and it was informative. If you have, hit that like, subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye!